Breaking news, breaking news. YNW Melly has just been arrested. It's been purported through a story towards Shade Room and all that, but that's not where I got mine. I got another video that's being edited. This video is not really an edit video. I'm gonna give you guys more information about the situation on a video that I'm dropping right now, but let me give you guys a rundown. If you guys didn't know last year, YNW Melly was in a situation, it was supposedly a lead shootout, and he lost two of his best friends in that shootout. YNW Melly, Friends are the names of YNW Juvie and YNW Sack Chaser. I don't have time for the jokes if y'all trying to joke on their names. I don't care about somebody's names. That's neither here nor there. But the fact that I seen a lot of speculations in this murder, meaning that when it when these two gentlemen were killed, there was not there was not a lot of real details that were released because a lot of if you read the news reports or if you're from Florida like me and from that area of Miramar's Briar County where where my family lives and where I'm from. So having that information was already out there that a lot of speculation from that's not where they got shot at because the area where the police made the crime scene was not even a real crime scene. Allegedly, YNW Melly left the bodies of his friends from the actual crime scene and rushed to the hospital, which anybody would do if you care for your loved ones. But the fact that people are now saying YNW Melly is guilty, I'm seeing certain YouTubers putting out the video already, I'm seeing certain situations are aspiring further than what it needs to be. They're going in grabs detail, he's a killer. He's a joke. He's a crackhead and all that. All I'm going to tell you guys is pump the brakes for a little bit. I will play devil advocate and give you guys my opinion on YNW Melly. Check out for that other video and I'm going to say it on this one. But right now, I'm going to speak as a free thinking conscious black man. When you have the media propaganda that's been going on for countless amount of years that destroys and using the tool to utilize to kill us and separate us from unity and causing divisions in our communities and sectors. I'm going to pump the brakes, especially when dealing with a um, overseers that you guys call police officers, which is just overseers from the slave days, or even we can even go further back from that, from the Christopher Columbia's times. So I don't trust police and I don't trust media propaganda. I trust the people. I'm going to wait the more valid proof gets out before I just jump the guns and attack YNW Melly. That's the problem. Look at the 21 Savage situation. We're quick to make fun of him being from the UK. He not from here. When 21 Savage had only six and a half years, he lived in the UK. As soon as he turned seven years old, he moved to America. You know how many families of mine I have from Haiti or Ghana or here and there? They don't even have those countries' accents. They have real American accents because they've been here so long. So they can claim that city or whatever they lived or they come from. Let's keep it a stack. I'm going to do a video about 21 Savage later, but I just wanted to speak about that, man. Like, we, we jumped the guns quick. The ICE agent made a reference of 21 Savage is not who you think he is. Why, who are you talking to when you say that statement? You're talking to hip-hop heads because you guys know that you did this maneuver to separate the growth and the power that a hip-hop artist has versus a presidential candidate or the president himself. You guys know this. A hip-hop artist, unfortunately, and I'm saying unfortunately for good reasons, that's not the here and there. But unfortunately, a rapper holds more power than your political figures or even your athletes. Yes, a rap. Hip-hop has always been revolutionary. So that being said that hip-hop is revolutionary, we should now take further more time to reflect on this situation that happened with YNW Melly. Is, is something that's shocking? Yes, man. Now, now let me play devil's advocate. The part that I'm going to say for devil's advocate is more of when this situation happened, I was like, What's going on? They're not really going on more details in the situation. Even after a week past, y'all seen the video I made for y YNW Melly? I was real emotional. I didn't cry or nothing like that, but I was like, damn, that's fucked up because I've been there. If you guys from the hood, we've held our friend, not everybody, but people who know what I'm talking about, we've held our dead friends before. We've seen them take their last breaths and you couldn't do shit about it and it enrages you. So I felt emotional connection to YNW Melly during that time. But you know what I didn't notice? I didn't notice he did a lot of, I'm not saying he was supposed to cry, but... He didn't really speak out like in their honor and their name a lot. I understand you can't speak about a criminal situation. You got to watch what you say and your lawyer um, and your legal team are going to give you advice, say nothing. But damn, bro, you can't even talk about how good they were. I'm pretty sure their family is jazzerating and thinking the same thing. Like, damn, this dude couldn't even just be like, you know, Juvie was a real nigga. Last time I checked, Sack Chaser... And Juvie got in a fight protecting you with NBA homeboys, um, NBA young boy goons. Juvia and Sack Chaser got beat up and they didn't even hide it. He went on camera the next day and he filmed it. So they seem like down, down the ride as niggas. But at the same time, let's put a scenario. Let's say if YNW Melly did kill, you know, his friends, allegedly. Um, 
Who's to say he didn't have a reason to do it? Who's to say his friends didn't set him up? Because we're seeing a lot of cases now with the 6 9 situation and so many other rappers over the years where they have their, even the Rich the Kid has, they have their own friends and family members who set them up just for the sole purposes of either taking the money that they believe they have or the jealousy and envy where I don't care about the money. I just want to see this nigga dead. He left me hanging. So I don't know what it is. And it's so many, you know, things we can contemplate and bring up. But at the end of the day, the main people who know the situation is YNW Melly and the people who are in that video and his accomplice, according to all these news outlets or whatever. So all I'm saying is take time before we go on a full throttle attack. We can look at a lot of scenarios like I just laid to you guys here, but this situation here needs to take up, pump the brakes and understand what kind of group of people we're dealing with. I'm from Broward County. You know how much corruption and bullshit goes on with these um, white supremacist officers, these overseers, do you know a lot of them are lazy, they don't get certain um, benefits or pay if they don't finish certain cases and it turns into a cold case, they rather just finish a case quick and say, look, this is what happened and this is what happened, just to be done with it and said they did their jobs. So let's take our time and do our jobs properly and let's not do our jobs the way police, racist officers do it or racist media outlets do it. And if you're a YouTuber, Please do your proper due diligence to research this shit. Don't jump the gun just to get views, my nigga. Not everything is about fucking YouTube view. This shit is real life and it's disheartening if it's true. That's why I'm taking my time with this before I intrude my own opinions and trump anything anybody says. No, we're not going to do that here. We're going to take our times and do our due diligence. Yes, as black men and women. Yeah, I don't care what you guys say. I'm racist. No. No. My kind of people have been through so many hardships. It's about time we learn how to take time with each other before just always attacking each other. That anytime you see anybody black, the only thing we're good at, I hate to say it, is attacking each other. And even if YNW Melly did kill his friends, it still proved my point. The only thing we're great at is attacking and killing each other. I'm your God bless one. Love your family, love your kids, and stay blessed. It's been real with y'all.